A subroutine is a block of code that we create to do one specific task. For example, in this video, I'm going to create a subroutine to draw a small square. Let's think first about why we want to create a subroutine. If I draw a square, so for example, we'll make it so that when we click the green flag, we will draw a square. So drawing a square is just drawing four lines. And I know that if I want to draw four things, then I can use a loop to do that. So I'll put the pen on, so pen down, and then I will go to control. I'll use a repeat loop because I'm going to do the same thing four times in a row. So repeat four and I'm going to draw a line that is 30 steps. Then I'm going to turn right 90 degrees. And if I do that, I'll just click on the green flag. And yeah, we get a square, 30 steps on each side. That's fine. But if I want Let's just erase that. If I wanted my sprite to do, say, two squares, I'd have to then let's just um, pick the pen up, move, we'll move uh, 40 steps, we'll put the pen down again, and then I need to use all of this block all over again. So back to control. Repeat four, move, 30 steps, turn right, 90, pop that inside the loop. So now if I click the green flag, the sprite draws my two squares. That's all well and good, but imagine if I wanted to draw, say, 10 squares, I would have to do the same thing 10 times. OK, I could put it inside a repeat 10. That would be fine. That would work. But what if I wanted to, for example, draw a square, then draw a triangle, then draw another square, then draw a hexagon, then draw another square, then draw a circle, then draw another square. Each time I was drawing a square, I would be using the same blocks of code. So really I'm having to repeat myself quite a lot. So I'm just going to clear all this and what we're going to do is we're going to make a subroutine. So to do a subroutine we go to my blocks and we click on make a block. This brings up the make a block um, dialogue section. So I'm going to type in here the name of my block. Well, I'm making a small square, so it makes sense to call the block small square. Giving it a name, small square, and I'm going to click OK. And we can see now we've got this block up here that says define small square. Underneath this, I'm going to put all the steps for drawing a small square. So the first thing we will need is for the pen to go down. Then we will want to do our um, repeat for loop. So repeat for. We want to move. We decide the small square is going to be 30. So we'll move 30 steps. Turn right 90. And then pick our pen up. So pen up. So this is the code needed for drawing one small square. Now, every time I want to draw a square in my program, all I need to do is go to my blocks and click on this block here, small square. So if I just I'll move my sprite over here, I'll click the green flag and it draws a small square. I'm just going to erase that and show you why this is so useful. So I've drawn small square, so I'm now going to go back over here and we're going to move 40 steps. I'm then going to go small square again. And now we're going to move, I don't know, let's go 60 steps this time. Then we'll draw 
another small square. Now we'll turn right, let's turn right um, 90 degrees, and then we will move, let's move uh, 50 steps and draw another small square. So this is going to draw a small square, move 40 steps, draw another small square, move 60 steps, draw another small square, turn right, move 50 steps, then draw another small square. Let's see what we get. Click on the green flag. So now I've got this only this small amount of code and every time I want to draw a small square, I just simply have to put my block small square. So this subroutine is allowing me to draw the same thing repeatedly at different parts in my program without having to repeat lots of lines of code. And if I know that I want to draw several different shapes, I could have a subroutine, for example, for drawing a large square, a subroutine for drawing a triangle, all sorts of different subroutines that I could just use repeatedly.